Well, hello everyone. How are you today? Uh, it's 4 a.m. I'm not exactly sure of the date, but it's somewhere right around the 20th of January. And Ohio got its first significant snow. So, I get to use my tractor for the very first time that I bought. Last winter was horrible. And, you know, with uh, my hips and my gut, the three surgeries I've had in the past five years and... Uh, it was almost impossible for me to shovel a drive. So for $300, I got this blazing 18.5 horse beauty. Let me get back here. And it's got a 44 inch snow blower on the front. And it's also got a deck sitting over there. And a grass catcher sitting on top of the deck. It's got chains on it. 18.5 horse Briggs. Twin cylinder. And I'll tell you what, uh, the guy told me it did good. Well, I'm going to find out. So, I told the neighbor, he works until 6 in the morning. If we ever got more than 5 inches of snow, I'd do his drive, because it's gravel. And so I'd have to keep my blade about an inch or so off, not to eat his gravel up, or break the snow blower. And I've got to do my own drive. So this is what it looks like right now. We had had like an inch of snow, so you can see the, the tracks are barely discernible. You can see my 86 Dodge van. It's a daily driver, but it has not been started since, uh, oh, Tuesday evening, I believe. And today is Saturday morning, 4 a.m., 4.30 a.m. Neighbors across the street. Everybody's asleep but me. So, I'm going to check the oil on this bad boy. Um, I just did an oil change on it. So, but I just want to make sure it's been run one time since I did my oil change. Oh, maybe a month ago. This has got the 18.5 uh, horse twin cylinder cast iron sleeve on the, on the cylinder walls. It is the industrial motor. And this thing uh, is supposed to do very, very well. I'll tell you what, a couple times I drove it, I've noticed it's a gas hog. Ugh. So, I had to put new belts on it. And, alright, I need a little bit of oil in it. Not much. But, I've got some oil. Then we'll do a cold start. I know it's been uh, at least three weeks since it was started. find some oil here some sludge to pour in she's not gonna take much it's a small little motor all right I got some oil I hope you guys are seeing this and we're at three minutes so that's not too bad so from what I gather you're only supposed to put four ounces in. Ah, oh, sorry. You're only supposed to put four ounces in. Make sure this is clean oil. Sometimes I bottle up dirty oil. Oh yeah, it's clean oil. So just give her a little bit of a drop there. Oh yeah. Okay. That'll make sure she's safe and not overfilled. My one light went off, the garage door light, so I'll kick that back on so you can see. Now I used, when I put oil in this, I put 5W30 in it when I did the oil change. And it said to use 5W30 or straight 30. 5W30 for winter, straight 30 for summer. And it did say to use detergent oil, so that's what I put in. 5W30 detergent oil. Uh, there's that pipe I had to replace on Joanne's Honda. And that's a 94, no, 98 Honda Accord LX, or not Accord, a 98 Civic LX 
with the 1.6 and the damn catalytic converter. That's a uh, integral part out of the integral part of the exhaust manifold. So, um, oil's up. <clears throat> Move the trash bags from doing aluminum the other day. Close the hood. Oh, set the brake. Pull the choke. Throttle halfway. And hit the key. 